結果の。トゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥトゥニューエラ。ニューエラ。If you guys didn't know, I teach English to the New Era Korea team. 
so I have lots of new era hats. Rude X, um, this is definitely not going to happen, especially on a tattoo show. So I'm just going to do myself a favor and uh, block you. Bye-bye. Unfollow. See you later. On your lawsuit. Zap, zap. It's the same. Aha, Jackson, I saw your tattoos, actually. Jackson, do you think that your tattoos have a certain style? Because actually, looking at your tattoos, if it's the same tattoos that I'm thinking of, only one person sent me their tattoos on Yo Pickles Inc. hashtag on Instagram. But, um, if that's you, I think you actually have the style that I'm going to be talking about today. So I might actually pull it up somehow and show everybody your tattoos. Um, it looks a little bit like Chicano. Um, no problem, Meta Mama. I'm glad to uh, have you as a friend. If you guys are new to hang with and I just followed you, I am Yo Pickles and I'm in South Korea. And I'm happy to know you. Thank you. And I hope you follow me back. And, oh my gosh, wait, I need to do something. Um, wait. My teardrop. It's coming off. I had to get it retouched. Fingers are really hard to keep ink in. You're all about my Annie and I rap. Nice. Oh, yes. That's a queer tattoo. Enter here. No, that's not good. It is it is Chicago where I'm from. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, Chicago, it looks a lot like the Chicano style, um, your tattoos. If it's the same, you sent me like three or four pictures, right? Hi, Lexi baby. Lexi baby. Lexi baby. I drew those in the art. Oh. Uh, I'm feeling okay, Philly, but a little bit hurting. Okay, it looks like everybody's on and coming on. Still not that many people that I wanted to before I started, but um, for all the people that just joined, I'm Yo Pickles, and this is Tattoo Talk with Yo Pickles, and it's happening every Monday night. And in <laughs> uh, this week, I actually um, I wanted to give you guys a little bit of tattoo tour of like tattoos that I have here. And also do another introduction for anybody that has never met me or watched any of my broadcast. And if we have time, we'll do the Chicano after. But I'm going to do at least two weeks of Chicano because I want to actually interview a Chicano artist in South Korea. So I have to maybe do it next week for the interview. I'm hoping. He's going to be shy, though. I already know he's going to be shy. I can't speak English. Ernan, if you're watching, you can speak English. You can do it. What's up, turning profit? Would I ever get an eye tattoo? No. That's like the fashion now. Well, it's not the fashion, but it's like a trend that's going on right now. But no, I don't think so. That's It's too crazy for me. <coughs> I actually have a friend on Facebook that has the blue inside. That's dangerous. I might look all crazy and like a badass, but I'm a big pussy when it comes to being doing dangerous things. I don't do that. Oh, you're a Mexican. Nice. I am not Chicano. I am Mexican. I am Mexican, not a Chicano. Well, then, this is good. If you actually can tell me anything if I talk about Chicano uh, if I'm saying anything 
that might not be correct. I watched a, docu a, doc a documentary on Chicano a couple of days ago, and I took lots of notes. So that's what I'm going to be, like, talking about in Chicano. Just, like, things that... I didn't know all the stuff about Chicano, and I learned a lot, actually. So, yeah. We'll talk about that. Uh, do I have any tattoos I regret? Um, I don't regret anything because there's, like, a reason... Not a reason. There's, like, a good memory that I have for each tattoo. But there's ones that I was, like... I, I think I should have maybe thought thought them out a little bit more. So, yeah. Not, not regret, but kind of... You're a dumbass like this. Damn, that fool made if he crossed the border all the way to Korea. I don't know. What up, yo, the damn lag? How are you, buddy? Chase? How am I feeling? I'm feeling okay. I'm a little bit sick and a little bit head is cloggy, uh, dizzy. Which is the tattoo that means a lot to you that has the most meaning? Mm. Mr. Pickles. I'm just kidding. Um, probably this arm. Let's see if I can get a better view of it. Actually, let me throw on my fish eye so you can see it better. You can see more of it at the same time. Okay. <laughs> Chase. So yeah, this is a tattoo that I actually got in South Korea um, by an artist named Memento at Inkolix. If anybody's watching in Korea, his shop's in um, near Gangnam. It's like in Sinhanyeon. Sinhyeonyeon, which is like a stop, but you can walk from Gangnam Station. Um, my birthday is Halloween, so this arm is kind of like all Halloween and thing. I have the peacock. Um, both my sisters have peacocks, so it wasn't something we planned together. We just all have peacocks. Um, it reminds me of this wall painting my dad had on the wall. It wasn't really, it was like a mirror. I had a peacock when I was growing up. Anyways, this. And then, um, I have, like, a Halloween theme, so there's, like, a coffin back here. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see the coffin? Oh, yeah, it's here. And then it goes down into pumpkins and, like, a tree of life. And then I actually had my artist sign it in Hangul. So his name, Mamento. And all the freaking spiders. Halloween cat. You can see it. Anyways, this is a um, cupcake. Because it's like a birthday cupcake. And candies. And... Candy corn. Yeah. Anyways, this is one of my favorite tattoos because it's so bright and colorful. And there's so much going on. And it's fun. I like it. But this one does mean a lot. Also, this one, um, it's not finished yet. But I got my, my mom's favorite flower, the iris, and then my mom's favorite bird. Which is another bright and colorful thing. Wait, let me read some of these things. Toilet man's back. How often do you re-ink your tattoos? That's a good question. Um, of course all tattoos will eventually fade. Um, I actually haven't had any... Actually, I had the guy fix a little bit on this. Um, <coughs> yellows, reds, and oranges. If you go in the sun a lot, come out so it fades. Um, these flowers used to be like hot pink and really, really, really bright. So since my shoulders are always getting hit, uh, 
direct sun right here. They always fade out. So I've gotten these touched up a little bit and also, whoa, bra strap style. Also, I did her hair retouch. But, um, I haven't got anything else retouched, but it's fingers definitely have to get retouched up a lot. And the one in my mouth is coming out, I think after 10 years or more, but like 10 years it will start coming out slowly. So, like parts of it's already coming out. Wait, <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> so like uh, here it's coming out and like part of my star is coming out. So you have to get them retouched up sometimes, depending. But if the tattoo is done right and is a quality tattoo, um, they last. Make sure you go to the right tattoo artist if you get a tattoo, which I'll talk about throughout my tattoo shows. Going to the right, picking the right artist, and th th that's a whole nother show. So it's going to be a show where I feel better and actually can talk more without feeling dizzy. I will rent you. I never said that, buddy. That's funny, though. Um. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. You got that all done together. Jackson, this one, I got this tattoo within uh, maybe two months, which I don't recommend it. If you're going to get a big tattoo, maybe don't do it so fast <laughs> like me. I'm not sure if it was just like the, the changing seasons because I got it done in the winter, but my common cold during this time was turned into like a flu and I was so sick after getting but it might have just been because I was sick and my body was just trying to heal but like this total took like 38 hours so I would go in for like five hours at a time so he went and did like the outline first and then he would go in and just color 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 start coloring um do I have any glow in the dark tattoos Good question, Johnny. I don't have any glow-in-the-dark tattoos, but he used, I don't know if he meant to use, but um, my tattoo, like, glows in black lights. So, <coughs> excuse me. Not all of them glow, but my pumpkins, definitely, these ones. And, like, the fire and here. So, like, if I'm in, like, a club and there's, like, flashing lights or any kind of black lights, it's, like, oh, it's really cool. But that's the only one. Um, but there is such thing as glow-in-the-dark tattoos. Um, I'm not sure if the ink lasts a long time, but it's there. It is possible, which we can do a whole show about glow-in-the-dark tattoos and white tattoos. White tattoos are kind of cool, but they don't last long too. Next tattoo I will get is this pit Chase. What the? <laughs> Yeah, I'm surprised not more people are on, actually. Usually my broadcasts bring bring more than... Not that I'm complaining about 100 people because you guys are awesome, but 100 people, that's good. <laughs> you know what I do? Like, okay, yeah, off the subject. Um, Lola wasn't killing... Lola wasn't killing any bugs in the video that you saw, if you saw her screaming on the Instagram. That was her just... <laughs> being crazy because there's a hole right Lola <coughs> Lola is very scared of bugs so the other night we didn't make a video but there was a money bug which if you want to know what a money bug is just google money bug it's disgusting I swear to god it's what nightmares are made from but uh, there was a money bug so of course Lola screams like it's bloody murder death and I come out and it's a money bug but money bugs are like that one was like that big but they can get really big which the really big ones are so sketchy like that's gonna be a problem yeah. but I was strong enough to be Lola's money bug Superman <laughs> and I caught it sort of so in Korea, money bugs, um, you're not supposed to kill them, which I don't know why Koreans wouldn't kill those things. Like, I wouldn't be able to sleep at night if that thing was still in the house. 
I wonder if they just let them crawl on them. Like, if any Koreans are watching, what do you do? Like, you're not supposed to kill them, but what do you do with it? Do you do what I did? Put it in a cup and throw it out the window? Because that's what I did. Actually, I was kind of just going to, like, do that and, like, have it fly out. But I didn't know if it was going to be in the cup still. So I kind of just, like, hey, let go of the cup. <coughs> but that video of Lola standing on my back was her just taping a hole. Ghetto taping a hole. And her screaming because she was coming near to a hole. Um, okay, so let's get back on Tattoo Talk. Um, Richard. Oh, can you hear my lungs? It's like so tight, it's not good. Um, Alright, by the way, thanks for the 18 people that gave me thumbs up. If you guys don't know what thumbs ups are, it pretty much tells me that you are enjoying what you're seeing without having to say it. So... If you guys like what you see and want to see more, give it a thumbs up. Which is like right there or there. I don't know. There's a thumb. Okay. Here we go. Stove, what's up? Any tattoos I regret? Um, I already said it earlier in this broadcast. But the tattoos... I don't regret any tattoos because there's memories involved in all of them. But I wish that I thought about a few of them a little bit more. And maybe not have got something I found off the internet. No, it wasn't something off the, like, it was like a, it's a fairy. It was when I was 18. And it was off of like a rave banner, a rave thing. So I just went in and was like, I want this fairy. Which is not really good because when, usually when you see it somewhere and it's not original, that means someone else probably has it. So you might see the same tattoo on someone else, which is not very original. So that's the only thing I regret is not regret, but wish I thought a little bit more or changed it up a little bit more. Slit kid, what's up? What are good ointments? Good. I like these questions, guys. I might even get into Chicano today because we're just going to talk about all the stuff that's coming in. That's awesome. And a lot of this is going to give me ideas of what you guys are asking so then I can make shows out of it. So, um, good ointments. If you're in Korea which I don't think turning points in Korea, but anybody that's watching on my tattoo page, Inked Korea, um, if you're in Korea and want to get ointment, there's an ointment called... Oh, no, I hope I don't butcher the name. I think it's called... Beating? Beating? <laughs> Anyways, you guys can PM me on Facebook, and I will send you a picture of it, and you can just show the Korean pharmacy. And it's actually used for baby rash, like baby diaper rash so it has ointment and it also has like moisturing cooling effects not cooling but like moisture for rashes but it's really amazing for tattoos so in America like every artist is gonna tell you something different but most I think well last time I got a tattoo in America they'll say like uh, like a and D ointment um, but I've also had artists tell me to use Aquaphor, not use any ointments, just use the lotion Aquaphor. The whole point is, don't let your tattoo dry. Like, keep it moist. Like, not, like, caked on moisture, just, like, a light layer of moisture. Because that will help the healing, and healing smoothly. If you put too much, and your skin's, like, super, super raisiny and damp, it could damage your tattoo. Don't use Vaseline. I heard Vaseline is really good and it actually takes out your ink. So stay away from Vaseline. And stay away from scented lotions. And stay away from... Uh, what is something else to stay away from? I would say just scented lotions and... Um, yeah. You, yeah. You're outside. You're what? Out the balcony? Are you going to come in here in a little bit? Gross today. It's really gross. We don't have a shot. We, yeah. Did the guy finish? Um, yeah. Wait, guys. Okay. I can pee in the living room. The toilet's in the living room. 
We're getting a new toilet. I called my land I called my landlord realty guy and told him we're having like a little bit of a leak and now the little bit of a leak is turning into a new toilet. Anyways, okay. Uh Lola, Johnny said hello. What? Johnny said hello. What? Johnny said hello. Hello, Johnny. <laughs> hello, Johnny. <coughs> Money bug in my ear. Oh my god. That would be so sketchy. Money bugs are so gross. If you guys watched my broadcast, maybe a couple months ago, I had like a giant money bug. It was the first time I ever saw one. It was on the wall. And I did a broadcast and it was not good. Machine Gun Danny, what's up? They're supposed to bring you good fortune. Yes, I heard. But... Oh, fiance just looked it up. Yeah, money bugs. You're not supposed to kill them in Korea. But... I wish that they picked a different, bring a good luck bug, like a ladybug, something else besides a freaking Satan spawn. That thing is so scary. Like, of course you have to kill it, or maybe you're just supposed to take it out and, like, put it outside and not kill it like that. But what's its purpose besides looking like a freaking scary, hairy spider and having two asses? I couldn't tell which one was his face. <laughs> oh, my God. Because <laughs> I was trying to catch with a cup, so I wanted to come behind him so he didn't, like, jump on me. But I was like, damn, what end is it? Oh, they're so scary. Yo, Eddie, what's up? Thumbs up. Thanks for the thumbs up. Wow. Went from 18 to 20.